Colin. I'm the web manager here at International Rivers, and I recently went on an amazing trip down the Yangtze River. I wanted to share a bit about it with you and show you some photos. These first few photos are just uh, taken from the plane window. The quality is not so hot, but it was amazing how many dams we saw from up there. Um, from flying from Beijing to Kunming, which was about a three-hour flight, we saw at least 50 dams. Um, from Kunming, we went to Lijiang, which is a small city in Yunnan province. It's a very beautiful city with a, a lovely old town area where cars aren't allowed. And we spent a couple nights staying there while we got ready for the trip. Um, getting ready for the trip mostly involved shopping. We had 28 people going down the river for seven days, so we had to buy a lot of food. We would always get these guys with their little bike taxis to help us carry our vegetables that we bought at the local market. So we were in Lijiang Old Town there, and here you see a picture of the new part of Lijiang. And in the background is Yulong Snow Mountain, which is an 18,000 foot mountain that sits right next to Lijiang. And behind Yulong Snow Mountain is Tiger Leaping Gorge. And um, half of our group got to head there and take a walk through this amazing canyon, one of the narrowest spots on the entire Yangtze, um, where they met these people, some local folks who had done a lot of work on preparing the, the little path that goes through this narrow gorge. And we like this sign that they made. Uh, it says, Tourist Instruction. So far, the Middle Tiger Leaping Gorge is not exploited by government. I think they meant exploited. And they were charging a couple bucks for us to get through, which we were, we were happy to pay, because it's a, it's a nice way for them to earn a living, and it's a, a beautiful place. The other half of the group, meanwhile, went straight to the river to a slightly easier place to get to the river. Uh, however, the truck didn't quite make it all the way as far as we hoped. We almost got stuck here, but um, we were able to empty the truck without tipping over. So, finally we got on the river. Right here you can see a, a classic Great Bend Rapid. It's pretty steep for such a big volume of river. This is the kind of rapids you see on the Grand Canyon really big waves, a lot of fun. Not too many rocks or obstacles, but plenty of huge waves and holes that could flip a boat if you didn't hit them just right. Here's one of the kayakers on the trip, enjoying a surf wave. Here's a good shot of uh, one of our oars women bashing her way through a huge wave. Looks like the boat's about to tip, but she pulled it back under control there and made it through. So most of our trip down the Yangtze was uh, just beautiful, open gorges like this, sometimes with cliff walls as high as a thousand feet, just rising straight up out of the river. And the canyon itself was several thousand feet deep. We met many local people along the way, including this man who was fishing. Uh, we spoke to him and he was super nice, invited me and uh, one of our Chinese guests up onto uh, the hill where his house was. We went up there and had a cup of tea with him and, and shared some stories. Here's the first dam site we passed, the Li Yun Dam site. And it's not too far along, but they already have done quite a lot of work cutting new roads into the hillside, and you can see all the rock that's been slid down into the river. Uh, they were also drilling into the river bed in order to kind of figure out where to place their different elements of the dam. And this dredger in the middle here, this drill rig, uh, was kind of an obstacle for us, as you can see with these cables running across the river. But after uh, taking a good look and uh, uh, encouraging the folks out on, there, the rig, out on the rig there to help us, uh, we were able to get under those cables. A little further down, we came to another amazing gorge. This one looked like two half domes. Um, stuck together with a gap in the middle and humongous straight up walls on both sides. And uh, we floated through this gorge for probably 40 minutes and towards the end we came upon a amazing oasis 
fern-laced waterfall uh, where we stopped and just enjoyed the, the greenery and the beauty for a while and a couple of the uh, Chinese men on our trip while we were in this gorge started singing this uh, Yangtze River song some sort of traditional song that they knew and they had their big baritone voices and it was echoing off the candy walls and it was a really special moment on that trip. Here are a couple more local Nashi men. The Nashi culture is the local minority group um, that is, makes up most of the inhabitants of this part of the Yangtze River Valley. And they've been living here for thousands of years. And we were fortunate to be able to visit one of their old villages here in the town of Baoshan, which is a 1,300-year-old village. It sits about 1,000 feet above the river. And we hiked up there one morning and um, got to stay in a nice little guest house with an amazing view of the river. And we had a great time hanging out there in Baoshan. We met some interesting people all of whom were very nice, uh, including this farmer here, who we stopped and helped him plow his field for a few minutes, and just admired the amazing terrace work that these families have created over the last thousand years. And unfortunately, about half of the terraces are going to be drowned under the reservoir created by one of the new dams. And here we are arriving at the Ahai Dam site, which is the larger of the two dam sites on the Great Bend. And it is the further along as well, so we saw quite a bit of construction going on here. Dozens of dump trucks, concrete plant, um, and it took us about an, almost an hour probably to, to float past the entire zone of construction. And as we approached this site uh, all morning, it was really hazy in the sky, and we were wondering if there was a forest fire in the area or what, and it turned out it was just this hillside. It was just spewing dust for miles up the canyon. On a more positive note, here you can see one of our typical camps. There are always huge sandy beaches, and from the Ahai Dam down, it was just a couple more days of great times on the river. There you can see uh, big rapids and people working together to pull, pull the boat downstream into the wind and uh, just more general hijinks and people having a good time. One little side note here, here's a, at the very end you can see uh, they're building a new bridge that's going to be a couple hundred feet above the old bridge because the old bridge is, is going to be underwater due to one of the further downstream dams. So that's it for our trip on the Yangtze. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,